my name is Abigail Stengel, and I am a CI fellow. And it's my pleasure to talk about my work today on safeguarding private visual information. I want to begin by saying that I am a tall, red-headed woman wearing a white and black shirt. And my work is extensively focused on accessibility and privacy. So we know that people who are blind face a trade-off between accessing the information that they want about information in their surroundings, as well as information from visual media. The trade-off is that they, while trying to access that information, they often will reveal their own privacy or other people's privacy in those images and videos that they share. This is particularly true when they are using visual assistant technologies that essentially use people or AI to deliver visual assistance. Um, in many cases, people who are blind do not want um, those sighted remote assistants to provide them um, with information about their private information. They want to keep it safeguarded. In some cases, they want to use AI to be able to safeguard that information. But in other cases, um, AI presents a risk because they don't know how these technologies are capturing, collecting, processing, and using their data. So in our research, we have focused on identifying a taxonomy of information types that blind people consider to be private, as well as under different conditions. For example, if they're sharing the information knowingly or unknowingly, is it in the background of the image or is it in the foreground? Um, as well as with human versus AI assistance under those two conditions. Um, meanwhile, we've looked at privacy policies of companies that um, deliver visual assistance. For example, Be My Eyes, Ira, TapTapC, um, and many more. And we found that many of these companies are not disclosing that they are collecting visual information. And so there's a misalignment between um, the concerns and expectations that blind people have and um, what, what they know to be true. Meanwhile, we're focusing on how to deliver, um, how to deliver visual assistant technologies that are privacy preserving um, using computer vision and few shot learning. So the taxonomy that we've identified um, is not always comprehensive. So privacy is very contextual. So if you, if, you know, somebody may find something private in one condition, but not another. And so how can we develop artificial intelligence to be able to um, recognize that information in those context specific instances? And so, um, you know, the broader impacts of this work is really, you know, we are all sharing images and videos and we are all kind of becoming exposed to possible disclosures that we don't want, and also how do we want our data to be used within these AI models, and how can we um, retain our own privacy and ownership of our data.